Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next lecture. In this lecture, I wanted to share with you guys uh, a tool that uh, I've been using to create a lot of cool images and graphics, uh, not just for my ads, but for my emails and much, much more. Uh, it's called Canva.com. It's a platform. It's a cloud-based software, more than that. So uh, it's a place where you can design, uh, you can design your, or your own images, your own graphics. They have a lot of cool templates that you can use and uh, and it's actually very very easy to use it's uh, it has a very good interface it's user friendly you can access it from uh, with, uh, from wherever you want and uh, from uh, where you have inter an internet connection okay because you have uh, uh, you have like an account okay which is cloud based and everything it's saved for you there so this is my dashboard exactly as you can he see here you can create an account very very easy because uh, you can connect with your Facebook account for example and after you create an account you have a dashboard just like the one you see on my screen right now this is my dashboard and you can start creating your first design okay you have a create uh, create a design here option as you can see before this uh, be, uh, below this header okay with uh, the create the uh, design options there are all my graphics that i have created till now okay a lot of them as you can see uh, different types some for, some for facebook ads other for uh, for banner ads other for uh, email uh, other as email marketing headers okay as email headers so you have a lot of options so everything will be saved for you exactly as you can see here you can then enter you can copy uh, and uh, re-edit for example that image uh, you can edit directly that image you can delete it you can do whatever you want okay you also have some some informations here okay you can share designs with other people that have canva accounts uh, you can learn to design okay you can you can get design inspiration so you have a lot of options now let's get back to the app itself you have the create a design option maybe for example you want to do a facebook cover a facebook post an instagram post whatever you want presentation you have different options uh, if you want to use this uh, this platform uh, to create an ad it's actually very simple a facebook ad you just uh, go to the more button you just press the button and all the options will appear for you okay and as you can see here you have social media posts documents blogging and and ebooks okay you can create an uh, an uh, an ebook cover for example if you want to uh, marketing materials like flyers posters okay menus business cards and so on social media and email headers maybe you want for an event to create an uh, a header or something like that youtube channel art so you have different options every single options or any option that you will select you will see you have different types of templates that you can uh, after that edit okay after you enter and select that template for example we will go to ads okay we have facebook ads white skyscraper medium rectangle leatherboard large rectangle if we click on the facebook ad uh, you will see that the app will load you the template okay and this is practically the editor in canva and now in the left part of the screen uh, in the layout section this is the first thing that will appear for you you can select a template that you want to use for your ad okay you will see that you will have like a small icon here which uh, which states free that means that you can use for free this template other type of templates for example uh, you have to pay for them and you have to click on them to see exactly how much you want you have to pay for them so you can select your free ones for example we can select uh, the wine list I'm, I just want to show you guys an example and you can now edit the template if you want to for example you can edit the okay the text you can select what type of font you want okay what size to be what color uh, you also have other options like uppercase uh, how to align your text okay you, uh, if uh, it should have a, a certain transparency then you have the other text which you can edit this one too uh, and then you can edit the background if you want you can add filters to your background for example uh, we can add like uh, a retro filter okay this is how it will look like uh, you have advanced options okay for uh, different uh, indicators that you can set them at different values okay for example uh, uh, vignette okay uh, the blur the blurry okay blurred one to create a more 
blurred image and you have different types of options okay if you will go you can flip it you can crop the image you can even change the image with the color if you want to okay so you have that option too so you have a lot of options that you can use to create a beautiful background also uh, you can go to the background option and select a different type of background if you want to okay you will see here that you have different types of backgrounds also a lot of them are free like patterns okay but you also have paid backgrounds and most of the time any element that you will select it's uh, somewhere around one dollar okay uh, besides the free the free uh, the free stuff okay the free graphics so most of the elements that you will select will be somewhere at one dollar the rest of them probably will be for free uh, then you can upload your own stuff for example as you can see here I have a lot of things that I've uploaded myself they will all appear to you in time they will be saved here okay like in a media library and you can select them and insert them again for example if I will click on this icon this one I found with icon finder okay and you can make it to be like uh, uh, like uh, okay the, the background if you want to but uh, you also have if uh, if you think that you you did something wrong and you want to go back you have the undo option okay so it's actually very very useful and has all the options that uh, that maybe a standalone uh, software editor software would have so it's actually very very complex uh, then you can go to the search function for example and here you have different different graphic elements that you can use okay to create your images for example you have frames maybe you want to use frames uh, we have talked uh, uh, that uh, that headshots for example had uh, that images uh, in facebook that use headshots are very very popular and convert very very well and for example you can select a frame here like this one okay and you can upload an image in it with somebody for example okay so you have the frame here okay uh, you have the headshot okay in the frame so you have different options then if you go okay let's uh, let's exit the frame section if you go to grids okay a grid it's like a collage of photos okay you can add photos from different uh, uh, dif you can add different photos in the same image okay maybe you want to do a grid a collage so you have here different templates that you can use then if you go to for example now they had something special for the Halloween okay with the graphics for the Halloween then you have different illustrations that you can use okay different icons or not just icons vectors that you can use okay so all the time they upload uh, they uh, they update this stuff and they add more stuff that you can use for for your images for example you can add this uh, this globe okay it's very nice maybe you want to do something like uh, you have like a tra travel agency and you want to do to use this in an image for I don't know an offer or something like that so you have different types you can even search here okay you have different different cool graphics that you can use for your images so Canva it's absolutely stunning in my opinion uh, now let's see other other uh, other options too you have different shapes for example okay that you can insert as you can see here you have lines okay different types of lines okay dotted uh, I don't know dotted okay like a graphic uh, uh, lines okay arrows and stuff like that you have a lot a lot of options then you have icons because we have talked about icons too that you can insert okay icons are very very used in uh, in uh, ads and in images and they convert very well so I recommend them to you okay and then you have photos too you have free photos that you can use you can uh, you can select paid photos okay uh, you also have charts for example different types of charts that you can use maybe you want to do a presentation or something like that uh, or maybe you want to to point out something you just change its name if you want to okay and after that you just uh, you just press the button download to download the image to your computer or you can share the image if you want directly to your Facebook so you can do that too if you want to so Canva it's absolutely stunning guys I highly recommend it to you as you have seen it's very user friendly it's easy to to access okay you can you can have access to it anywhere and it absolutely blows your mind with what type of images you can create I mean 
uh, your images will be like made by a, a, a professional graphician or something like that okay so you can do stunning ads with canva i highly recommend it to you with that being said i thank you for your attention and i will see you guys in the next lecture bye bye for now sorry in here